Good morning, this is Vu, and I am going to show you how to get easy screen captures off your Cerex software. I'm assuming at this point that you've went ahead into your Cerex software and recorded a quick video, and we're going to start from that point. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Internet Explorer here, and the website you want to visit is www.videolan.org. That's www.videolan.org. Go ahead and download VLC here. VLC is a video player. It plays virtually every video file. It's my favorite. It's free, and it works very efficiently, even on computers with not a lot of hardware, let alone a Cerec machine. So we're going to go ahead and hit Save here or Run. Run's probably easier for most people. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. In my case, however, I have already pre-downloaded for the sake of this recording. So we're going to go ahead and go to... Uh, the computer here. We're going to pick the downloads folder and you'll see here that I've already pre-downloaded, ignore that partial one, but I've already downloaded the program. Dire warning comes up. Go ahead and hit run and then we'll wait here while setup unloads and everything. Video LAN is kind of unique. It's something a lot of us are used to using what we call closed source software. Let's let's go ahead and hit ne keep hitting next uh, through all our defaults settings there to get it installed and the neat thing about open source is it's completely free it's modified and edited constantly by the internet community so um, you're sure that you get a nice stable run uh, in a lot of cases with VLC anyway and what we're gonna do here is set it up to play our back our Sarek videos and then capture freeze frames from it so we're gonna go ahead and leave this run VLC media player checkbox checked We'll hit finish and that will open up our VLC media player. Okay, it's going to ask me uh, about privacy and network access. Um, if you don't want to be bothered, you can say not to regularly check for VLC updates. Uh, that's up to you. I like to keep it updated in case someone finds a security bug or something like that to make it run better. Um, it will bug you about every month or so to download a new copy. If you don't like that, uncheck this regularly check for VLC updates. I recommend you leave it on. Okay hit continue and now we're going to go to click tools and click on preferences okay and then click on this video tab here and then go skip down here to where it says video snapshots you're going to go to the directory and you're going to hit browse this is where you want to pick your desktop folder if you don't know where your desktop folder is scroll all the way to the top of this left box here hit desktop and then go ahead and click select folder. That will go ahead and render your directory in the full uh, MS-DOS name of C colon backslash user backslash your username backslash desktop. Okay, go ahead and leave prefix alone. For format, change the format from PNG, change it to JPG. That is the Joint Phot Photographic Experts Group, but JPG is just what we use for um, video or for our picture files and EagleSoft easily understands it as does NEA attachments and so really important set it to JPG and hit save down here now that save is selected we're gonna go ahead and close this VLC for now this downloads folder we're finished with so we'll close that the next thing I want to do to make this easy for you is make a shortcut to your Sarek folder here's one I've made I will go ahead and make one from scratch so you can see how you do it go ahead and double click computer then double click C, Program Files, then click on Serona Dental Systems, then CAD CAM, then Data. Okay. Now once you're at Data, this is where your cases live. So we're going to go ahead and right click, okay, and you're going to send to Desktop Create Shortcut. And that will make a shortcut there that says Data Shortcut. In my case it says 2 because, well, I already have one. so. Um, we'll go ahead and double click this new shortcut and you'll see here that all your Sarah cases are here for HIPAA purposes I've moved mine so you don't know what my patient's name are but we'll look at patient John Doe here and then uh, his case number we'll do 246 here whatever that means and you'll see here I've already recorded a video and because I have there's a file called video.avi here go ahead and uh, copy this folder to the desktop now the easiest way to do that I found is to use my right button to click rather than my left. Uh, and there's a reason for that because when you use your right button 
it will give you the choice do you want to copy, move it, or create a shortcut. Of course you can use the left button and it will automatically move it, but I like being given the choice. So I will go ahead and click uh, move here. Uh, this is kind of nice if you're recording multiple video files to keep doing that. Um, the safer thing to do is probably to rename the file and keep recording and then when you're all done then move them up to you on that. But let's go ahead and close this patient folder down and we have this video AVI file. Now you'll notice here that it's set to play with Windows Media Player. So the first time you do this you're going to right click open with VLC Media Player. Okay and then you'll see it's open. Actually let's back up. Right click open with and we're going to go ahead and choose the default program because I always want VLC to open it. So we're going to go ahead and select VLC as our choice and hit OK. And then you'll notice that the little icon here has changed to a little uh, traffic cone. And that's nice because that allows us to see. OK, and now my video is playing here on the screen. You notice it's a Serac video because the video is tall. So that's definitely coming from my Omnicam. We're going to hit pause. And I always hit pause immediately when I open the video file. I don't even bother playing it. I'll, I'll do a, a, I basically scrub the video looking for my key frames. Okay? So let's see where my money shots are. We're basically, this is a pre-op video. We want to send us the insurance company or to show the patient or to document whatever your reason is uh, how nasty this tooth is. Okay? So here's a tooth with kind of questionable margins on the composite. We're going to go ahead and find a frame where it's nice and crisp. Remember, I've paused it so now that I can just basically scrub back and forth and the video will stay still wherever I put it. I'm dragging, I'm using my mouse to kind of drag around the pointer and now I'm going to hit Shift S. And Shift S will go ahead and since I've set up that preference, creates a JPEG on my desktop. And now I'm going to go ahead and drag through and see if there's any other frames I want. So here's a nice side shot. I'm going to hit Shift S again and that makes another screenshot. And then we're going to go and the nice thing about this is the, the screenshots are automatically trimmed. We don't have to hit print screen or go into MS Paint or any of that nonsense. I want the file directly saved. So there we go. We're going to we'll pick this shot too. So now I've created three test shot or three screen captures from my video. We're done with it now. At this point, if you want to save it to an external USB drive or delete it, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it here for the side. I'll decide what to do with it later. But what we're going to do now is open up EagleSoft, okay? And I'm going to go to my EagleSoft schedule here. And I have patient John Doe's file here. That's actually my EagleSoft trainer. He's not a patient, so I guess that's not a HIPAA violation. Click on it once, his appointment once, and click View Images, okay? And now the View Images button is open. I'm going to go ahead and minimize everything back down again using this little if you click in the lower right hand corner there's a little rectangle here that minimizes everything. I'm going to highlight these three JPEG files and this is kind of a little shortcut I do to transfer stuff quickly to EagleSoft. I'll go ahead and highlight these. I will hover my mouse here and you'll see the three windows pop up and I'm going to pick EagleSoft Advanced Imaging here and then drop it down to this empty box and there they go into EagleSoft Imaging. We're going to hit the Save button here and now John Doe has three new intraoral files in his picture. So that's the long and short of how to do it. How to get your files from your CEREC machine into EagleSoft's images, Advanced Imaging. Let me go ahead and uh, close this down. Uh, if you have any questions please do private. You can go ahead and message me or find me on the internet. Um, on CEREC Doctors my name is Vu Lee. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you and uh, have a great rest of your day.